If you have ever been confused about the difference between single vision and distance vision, hopefully by the end of this, you are no longer confused. Eyeglass Tyler of Sporter X, and we're gonna go over the differences. Thank you so much for joining me in my humble little abode. I'm here practicing social distancing, so welcome, and I hope you are as comfortable as I am and just letting my hair flow and grow and just be ridiculous. Right now I wanna talk about single vision versus uh, distance vision. I think that's something that enough people have confusion around that it just deserves a little clarification. So I'm gonna just talk about the differences, what each is and what it means to you. Hopefully at the end of this video, it's no longer confusing. So let's jump into it. So let's start with what single vision is. It's correcting for a single focal length, whether that be out in the long distance for your everyday driving, walking around pair, or up close for your reading glasses, maybe even intermediate for your computer glasses, really and truly for whatever focal length you need to correct, it's going to correct for just that one distance. And so it's just that simple, single vision, one distance correction. Okay, so then what is distance vision? Distance vision is going to be specifically distance correction. It's kind of a subset if we're talking single vision in that context, it's going to be specifically for distance only. That's not gonna be your reading glasses, that's not gonna be your computer intermediate distance, it's just gonna be your distance vision. You could also consider that to be the distance portion of a multifocal, like a progressive or a bifocal, but more likely you're confusing or it is confusing the difference between single vision and distance vision, which is the distance version of a single vision lens. But that's, that's the point. It's the focal length of out in the distance, which is in doctor's terms, uh, infinity distance, which is actually just anything beyond 20 feet, 20 feet and beyond. That's where you get 20, 20 from actually. So anything beyond 20 feet is considered your distance vision and that's it. It's just as simple as that. So hopefully that pretty well covers what you need to know about the difference between single vision and distance vision. And that now you're a little less confused about the difference between the two and hopefully can pick what is right for your next pair. By the way, if you were to decide to order from Sport RX, thanks to our See Better Guarantee, you're never going to be stuck with something that you don't like or doesn't work for you. And as long as you get back to us within 45 days, we're going to take care of you no matter what that means on our end. We just want to make sure that you're happy with what you've got and to quell any concerns about ordering online. And also beyond that, we have opticians who are trained and ready to help you through that order process to make it a lot less overwhelming or intimidating as we know it can be and make sure you get the right thing the first time. So don't hesitate to reach out to us or at very least use us as a resource, reach out to us. Thank you so much for joining me. Hopefully this was interesting or valuable. If so, throw us a thumbs up, why not? Also, we have relevant videos to check out there. And if you subscribe, you're gonna hear about those relevant videos first. And if you check us out on our social media outlets at SporterX, you might find some other things of interest. So do that, thanks.